Hey everybody and welcome back to What The Face. And we have something new. New hardware to show. And uh, I'm excited uh, because I have something special to show you. And it's not the products per se. But let me get to this. Okay, we ordered from Maggard a razor. And um, I was really happy to get this because I've seen this razor uh, for some time. And it's been out for a while. But uh, I wanted to try it for myself. So let's get right into open the box and I'll tell you what I'm talking about. So here we are. This is the Ming Ming Shi 2000S. And there you have it, right there. Uh, and you take it out. It comes with a five pack of blades here, which I'll just throw there. And as you could see, it's a nice looking razor. Very nice. And you could see the adjustable numbers on the razor itself. Uh, denoting the different closeness that you can adjust to and uh, I'm sure uh, you know by with testing this it's going to be a great razor and that's not the total focus of this particular uh, unboxing but uh, something had occurred that one of my followers on the um, wet the face community uh, told me about he goes well what did you pay for this I said well uh, this was twenty dollars, you know, it, and and it was uh, shipped to me in two days. And uh, you know, Maggots is great. Maggard is uh, great for that. They they ship right away when they can, and uh, you'll have it in in a day or two. So he goes, well, if you don't mind waiting, you could probably get the same razor for six dollars, five dollars. I said, come on, you're kidding, right? He goes, no. And he showed me. And sure enough, what I did was as soon as I, I already put the order in for this and I let it go. And I also ordered at the same time the one from China. And I'm just going to slide over. And that's the package that I got when I ordered it from China. And it took two weeks. So I ordered one for $17 and I ordered another one for $6. Now I had to wait the difference. So, let's see what the $6 razor looks like. And here we are. I think this is in a much more attractive packaging. But of course, you know, packaging doesn't make the product better. But I would reach for this if I saw the both of them and they both were the same on the shelf, I'd reach for this one. It's just more attractive. Um, so let me just open this up, and as you can see, there's a booklet. And inside the booklet, it just tells you a little bit about how the razor works and how to load it. The other one did not have that. And, again, a little box of uh, razors right here. No problem. And as you can see, I'm just taking this whole thing out here. And I'll move some of these things out of the way. As you can see, the same razor. It's the same razor. In fact, what I'll do is I'll place this one on the left and I'll take the other one so you can see me taking it out of the box. And I'll place the Ming Shi version on the right. And I will zoom up on it with the camera. And as you can see, they're identical absolutely identical in every way so I'll be using one of these to do the shave it doesn't matter which one because they're both the same so um, we'll report on the hardware and how it performs so let's get to it hey everyone welcome back to part two of hardware review and here is the one I selected out of the two that are identical here it is this is the one I'm going to be using um, I'm going to open up this box and I will let you take a peek at the card and I'll maybe I'll um, digitize this and uh, put it up on the screen so you could see it. But what it's telling me to do is to pull the top off of this right there. You could see I pulled it off. And I'm going to be placing a Persona Blue Blade in there. And let me go get one. 
Here is the box that I use. I have bought this box a while ago. Still have not used every one. <laughs> Man, it's amazing how long this box has lasted me. Maybe uh, two years already. And I do change my blades often. The box is a, a hundred blades, so. So here we go. So as you can see, here is the razor. And I'm gonna be pulling the top off. And there you have it. And it says just to, you know, place the blade right in here, which I am doing. And you can see the blade laying right on top of there. And then it says to align it and push it in, which I did. And there you have it. It is all set to shave with. I just have to select the the number that I want to shave with. And I think since this goes up to six, I will be shaving with three right in the middle. So uh, let's get to it. So three is the number that I'm selecting. And it's denoted by the little notch here and the number below it. And I will be putting the box and everything on the side. And for today's shaving soap, I'll be using Shaver Heaven. And it's Sweet Mayo Lemon right there. I love this stuff, man. Oh my God. If you love lemons, this is an awesome one. I don't know if they're still producing their shaving soaps. And I don't know if everything has been depleted from inventory but um, if you ever get a chance that this is being sold on a trade and you love lemons get it because it is fantastic so what I'm going to do is um, I'm also going to be using the Zen Shave brush for this so let me just wet the brush here I'm going to put a little water in the, the tub I'm not doing a bowl lather or anything because that's not what we're really concentrating on. And I've wet the brush and I'm just going to do right from the tub, I'll load this up. And if anybody has ever used this particular shaving soap, you know that it's uh, fast loading. It takes no time to do this. And I am just about done loading this brush but I am a sick individual and I like to play, so. <laughs> okay, enough play time. Okay, brush is loaded. I'm putting the tub aside and I'm taking off my glasses. Now I'm getting serious <laughs> and I'm going to be uh, wetting the face. So here we go. Let me wet the face. All right, here is the brush. Let's put it on. Hmm. Such a delight. This shaving soap, unbelievable. I am making sure that it's going into my beard. It's about a five day growth. And there we have it. Very good. I just wet the brush, I mean I just wet the uh, razor a little bit 
And here we're gonna start the shave. Wow, I like it a lot. Feels great. I seem to be getting nice feedback. It appears, if you look at the if you look at the razor, it appears that it's wider than it actually is. The handle is extremely smooth, but I'm still able to grasp it, but it would be nice to have it better grip. very close shave I had. Unbelievable. You will not believe it. Seven dollar razor. It just goes to show you it doesn't matter how much you spend. You can get a close shave and a great shave with something that costs seven bucks. Unbelievable. And if you don't mind waiting, seven dollars is going to be your price. If you do mind waiting, $20 will be your price. So it all depends on how uh, how uh, patient you are. <laughs> I go for the $7 one <laughs> myself. In fact, for $7 you can buy two and wait a week. So there's your choice. But my god, this is a, such a great razor. Uh, it's very... I, I got just this close with this razor than I think you would get with a with a one blade. I am not kidding. I am not kidding. Because um, the removal of whiskers, it's going to do it, it for seven dollars. It'll do it for four hundred dollars. Right? So um, the only thing I have a gripe with is the handle. It is heavier than I thought it was going to be. Um, the problem is the grip, where if you do have slightly wet or, or I would say slick slickness on the fingers, it would be, you would be hard pressed to try to hold on to this. Other than that, the, uh, the dial goes up to six. I put it on three. I could even back it off a half a notch and still have a great shave. No problems whatsoever. None. A great, great buy, a great find for seven bucks. And this pretty much stays on for the entire shave. The top just uh, kind of clips right on. Uh, I do recommend uh, after the shave, taking the top off, cleaning it, and putting it back on. Gunk did build up on the uh, blade itself and needed to have the top removed in order to rectify that situation. Other than that, that's it. Great hardware product. Uh, the Q-Shave, or uh, its other name is like the 2000S Minchi, I think it was. 
I don't have the box with me because I only pulled the one box out, but uh, however you want to pay for it is your decision. So uh, I give it, I give this product thumbs up, great hardware product, great razor, great value. Uh, I can't say more than that. Go out and get one for yourself and let me know how it, how it worked for you. So uh, I had a great shave and I hope you have a great shave too and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.